West Monroe, Louisiana CNN. Brian Baker stuck a roll of toilet paper onto paint roller he had attached to the leaf blower and started leaf blower. A stream of white paper shot into the air and slowly flew towards the ground. This was a twist on Baker's tradition of the Bacomville Redneck Christmas Parade in West Monroe, Louisiana, where marchers throw toilet paper as well as toothbrushes, ramen noodles, beads and candy at spectators along the way. We have Leroy the Redneck Reindeer, Baker said, pointing to the red-nosed stuffed reindeer head on his float. You can't get any more ignorant than that. Leroy the Redneck Reindeer stood proudly on Brian Baker's float. Ignorant does not necessarily mean broke. There are many expensive trucks in the parade. To Baker, redneck meant we'd rather be in woods. Out in the country. Sit back on porch. Bonfire. Cold beer. But behind the jokes there was a more serious truth. The parade route passed people living in trailers and tents. Abandoned stores. A pawn shop and several dollar generals. More than 30 of Bacomville residents live below the poverty line. And surrounding Washita County was recognized as a persistent poverty area in a 2022 report by the Congressional Research Service. A 2015 documentary called The Other Side, about a man addicted to meth, was filmed in Bacomville. The area is known locally as an impoverished community in need of better housing. And Urban Dictionary has a derogatory definition for resident. West Monroe residents told CNN the economic hardship they see every day is affecting their plans to vote next year. Debbie Mayo and Rachel Holmes were doing outreach at a parade for Bacomville Hope, a nonprofit that provides food and hot meals to those in need. People don't realize that this place is kind of like a third world country, Holmes said. She said there are many homeless people living in abandoned mobile homes in the area. And in the woods, Mayo added, makeshift tents. They said homelessness is harder to see there than on the streets of big cities. Even people who have jobs are suffering due to the high prices of the economy. Mayo said, regarding the 2024 presidential election, Mayo said, we hope Trump gets back there. Maybe can fix it. Because he wasn't in this turmoil when left. All of this happened in the last three years. This is not your typical Christmas parade, one. Attendee said of the Redneck Festival. Former President Donald Trump is ahead among Republican voters but must win the party nomination. Through state contests that begin in less than six weeks. President Joe Biden's re-election campaign is touting bidonomics. He says the economy gotten better since the pandemic. While a war in Europe has disrupted supply chains and increased spending pushed inflation to four-decade highs. Although economic metrics show this to be true, opinion polls show that a majority of people still think the economy is bad. Some comments suggested this was not ratio.